NXT. NXT. Yeah. See, she said it yeah again. Oh, of course. Okay. Now, NXT. It starts with the Undisputed Era. Of course. They're yapping. They're yapping. Saying, Uncle's like, I told you. I told you. And then they're saying, they show, they show the clip saying, this is what NXT should start off. Just use the song, yep. just put the all about them, because, like, NXT's all them. They yep. dominate NXT, pretty much, what they're saying. And then they're saying that um, the North American champion and the tag team champions better shine him up gold for Roger Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, because once they have them, nobody... Including Regal and Triple, even Triple H will ever get them. Yep. And then that out comes Dream. Here comes Gay Boy. And he's pretty much saying, nobody can touch you, Cole. I want to touch you. There you go. Plain <laughs> example. He's gay. And then, let's see what he's saying. Um, and then pretty much he's saying... He pretty much is saying that the Banksy title will look good paired with his title. And then Roger Strong says it'll be dream over if he has a match with him and he takes it. It'll mm -hmm. be dream over. And that out comes um, Matt Riddle, bra. Yeah, bra. Bra, bra. Yeah, bra. First thing out of his mouth is bra. <laughs> <And> then, bra. <laughs> like, come on, man. And then he's like, I beat Cole and I beat Roddy. Already. And then Cole's just pretty much saying, shut up, Riddle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And just stick to reviews of wrestling, blah, blah, blah. And then that makes Tyler Breeze come out, and he's yeah. pretty much saying he's the original NXT. He's, um, he was there before they were in. Um, he talked to R Regal and saying... Um, how about we do this? Because I'm sick of it. And we do Dream, Riddle, and me versus the one, three of you. So, it ends up being the main event. So, we get there. And then, the first match ends up being um, a debut guy, Damian Priest. He's really tall. He's like 6'6". Six, six, six. Yeah, I think he's Puerto Rican. I gotta let him... He, he did pretty good. I just gotta see him do a few more, and I might like him. Yeah, he went against um, Raul, Raul Mendoza. I think he was on XC before already. Yeah, I think a he couple like matches. Once, once or twice. But, um, Damien did good. He, he showed. He's, he actually trained in uh, Monster Factory Wrestling. He did that, so... He kind of pretty much threw Raul Rule all over the place. Like yep. a rag doll. But uh, he w he won with this uh, rolling cutter. Like, rolling cutter thing. But, it, like, there was, like, he did um the arrow gimmick. And then he delivers the spin kick to set up for the rolling cutter. So that's how he won that. And then they were showing how next week it's going to be the steel cage between EO and Shayna for the title. I hope Eo wins. Oh, yeah. I don't want Shayna, because I don't... Yeah. I can't stand Shayna Basley. But, yeah. And then, um... Regal, and then you see Regal. He's announcing this, uh, NXT breakout tournament. It's a couple... It's like these eight superstars that are in the performance centers, and they're running up, and they, and they he wants to see who got the mm -hmm. chance. So he's doing a t single elimination tournament, and whoever wins... Gets a title of their choosing. These are the people. Let's see. We got Dexter. I'm probably not going to say half of the names right. Dexter Loomis. Bronson Reed. Isaiah Serve Scott. Cameron Grimes. Angel Garza. Jowquin Wild. Jordan Miles. And Boa. They're all pretty good looking... Like, not good looking. I mean, like, they're good athletes. Like, mm -hmm. they look like they can wrestle. But 
We'll find out who's good in this tournament, who ends up being last, and what title they go against. They're probably 100% gonna go against the main title. They kind of pretty much put in a, like a mixed group. They got like, looks like a couple that look like they do flips, like Ricochet does, and yeah. a few other ones. And then they look like the ones like um, the War Raiders. There's like a guy that looked like that. Yeah. <laughs> like Adam, Adam Cole, Velveteen Dream, and the, well, they can't go get the NXT titles because it's only single. But NXT uh, North American Champion and NXT Champion, you better watch yeah. out because they might go for you. But I think I know who they're going for. Adam Cole, watch out. Yeah, gay gay. <laughs> but and then uh, it showed that next week they're gonna that that's when they're gonna start the tournament and the the first round is going to be Jacqueline Wild versus Angel Gar Gar. Garza Jr. Whatever. But yeah. And then it ends up being a female match. Tanara Conti. Conte. Whatever. First Zai Zia. Z Zay Lee. Yeah. Um good match. They both did a good match, but Z Lee wins. She did like a spitting back kick. Um the in the beginning they both shook hands, so obviously they're both good guys. Tia pretty much kept pinning uh, Zia Lee, or Zia Lee, or whatever that's her name. <laughs> kept trying to pin her, and she kept kicking out. But uh, Leah sweeps the leg to start her, and then she did a combat, and then she, do um, co then she dodges a co 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 uh, attack, and then leaps up the ropes to pop over, and then connects with her kicks for the win. Like she you'll see. She ducked and then she swinged and hit her. That's why yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and then we got the street profits. They are doing this little thing with street talk, I guess. They're saying the street talk. And Montez Ford, he said he's surprised they're going against forgot uh Forgotten Sons. Yeah. Even though the grind don't stop till uh he then he accidentally whatever. Um then they show footage of uh the Street Prophet's own mini champion parade, whatever. But obviously it's gonna be next week, so we should probably for their forgotten sons. Forgot forgotten sons. So yeah. yeah. And then you got the main event. Oh boy. Undisputed Era. Versus the gay boys. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Dream, Tyler Breeze, Prince Pretty, and Matt Riddle Bra. Yeah, bra. Bra bra. Um, it ends up being Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Trunk. So Kyler Riley's out in the. Of course, he's watching the match. He. he Kyler Riley kept trying to go in there at times and cheat and help. He kept trying. Yep. Um. But in the beginning, uh, the good guys, they kept arguing who would start, but it ends up being Matt Riddleball starting. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and then, let's see. Because the two boys couldn't stop saying I'm the gay in this and want to fight first. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm not real bra. I had to step in the middle between the two boys. <laughs> yeah, let me try it. I'm the king bra. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, Tyler Breeze, he go, okay, this is like the five minutes, I think it's like five, five, ten of the match, whatever. Tyler Breeze, he goes to a dive onto them, them, but Dream, with a blind tag, the takeover, and then they, um, argue, and then Cole super kicks Riddle, yeah, super kicks Riddle, and then to the floor, and then turns into a pair of kicks to the face from Dream, and then and Breeze. Then it leaves them open to Roderick Strong. And then Roderick Strong did like um a high a high knee high knee thing to what's his name Tyler Breeze, and it takes him out. He rolls out of the ring, and then it's just uh, North America champion and Roderick Strong, and he ends up doing um what's his finisher called. The heartache? End of heartache? Yeah, the head of heartache. 
for the win. And then they're all in the wing like this, and then they're in the ramps there and been like, yeah, yeah. It's like you can't defeat us. Yeah, we're going to end up having all the titles, and we're going to be, it's going to be all air in NXT. Oh, boy. Something we don't need. Yeah. But, I mean, some people like the Undisputed Era, though. You know? But, I mean... We do know someone that really, really likes the main leader of the group, and he's so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Calls him gay gay, and he's, she's talking about Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> he's not baby, it's gay gay. Oh, yeah. Especially the one that keeps smacking his butt. Yeah, there was a, <laughs> there was a little gif you've seen where Bobby Fish is smacking Adam Cole's butt. I don't, I don't know. They might be gay too. All four of them. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, Kyle Riley looks weird looking, so. Mm -hmm. And fish shine a sound. Yeah, and this one notices not wearing a cup. Yep. So. No cup. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, how did you enjoy this week of NXT? Did you like it? I see NXT has more interesting in it. It's not like, yep. um, it's not like. Yeah, so, um, let us know what you thought yeah. of NST. I mean, NST is a little way, it has some more entertaining than Raw and SmackDown. I mean, like, Raw this week was lame, more talking. SmackDown yep. probably was the same thing. More talking, lame-ish, needs to do more interesting. They should, like, watch NXT and, like, get something. Or yeah. watch AEW. Me and EM is pretty good on there, too. Yeah. Well, she wasn't on there. They were just showing a little clip of her. She might be on next week. Which they should. That's the thing. They should make it a little longer than now. Or I get more. An hour or two hours? You, know, you never know. Do two hours. Well, Maybe end up being like SmackDown and Raw. Well, it, technically it's not really a full hour. Sometimes it's like 45 minutes. It's, yeah. It, that's, they should make it an hour. An hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, this NFC shows more it shows more action. It doesn't really it talks but doesn't really talk as much. It does more of the action. That's why. Well, two oh five, you gotta imagine Piss Hound's in charge, so yeah, that's probably <laughs> why it's going down the toilet. Yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> so, they, they what they need to do is like maybe they should like have a like a little mini thing but from two oh five and NXT like a battle right there. Yeah. I think they didn't they do that? Like, does, didn't they do that with Worlds Collide with wrestlers? Yeah, they do Worlds Collide. They put Two Five Live, NXT, NCUK. They all put that in there. Yeah, I know, but Wait, like, so we maybe don't want, we one just... week, maybe like they do it like a tournament, like Two Hundred Five. Instead of doing the Worlds Collide, do it like they show it on Two Hundred Five, and then they show it on NXT. You know, like a tournament type thing. Well, that's up to Jake Maverick and William Regal, because they're the managers of them. I don't know. They got an old fart versus a piss hound, so I don't know. <laughs> an old fart. Well, but, he is kind of old. Yeah. He's like, what, 70, 80? The old fart. I don't think he's that old. <laughs> he I, looks that old. I don't think he's that old. He's got to be. He's got to be like like 80. How, old, how old is Regal? <laughs> As Missy wants to know. Yeah, how old is he? How old do you think he is? Write it, write it in the comments. Yeah, write him. Write him. Yeah, so write in the comments what you thought of um, NXT. We yeah. like to hear. We like to hear your things. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yep. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.